gentlemen, on behalf of National Express East Anglia, I'm delighted to welcome you here to Bombardier's site in Derby to preview our first new 379 Electrostar train. Today marks a very significant milestone in what has been a four-year journey of improvement for our business and our customers, and we still have some distance to travel. In late 2006, National Express recognised we had to develop the case to address the much welcome challenge of overcrowding on our trains and to further improve our standards of customer service. We spent a year developing proposals to construct bigger car parks, provide more customer service staff and most important of all to provide new and additional trains to meet increased passenger demand. Today we are able to preview the first class 379 Electrostar off Bombardier's production line before it is shipped to Vellum in the Czech Republic to undergo tests on a dedicated test track. Testing in the UK will start in January. The first unit will be handed to us in March. The trains have a top speed of 100 miles per hour, although will largely be limited to the prevailing route speed of 80. There are 20 first class and 189 standard class seats in each four car train. <coughs> It has an integrated internal CCTV system for passenger safety, Wi-Fi network and state-of-the-art train management system. We plan to introduce 20 trains in eight car formation on the Stansted Express service from the timetable change next May. Then between May and August we will take delivery of a further 10 trains which we will deploy on some of our Cambridge commuter services. With over a quarter of Stansted Airport's 20 million passengers using our trains, the Stansted Express service is a very important part of our business. We operate 75 services each day from the airport to London Liverpool Street from 05.30 to 01.30. It is also a very important service to the communities on the route and forms the backbone of our West Anglia commuter service. These two distinct markets are featured strongly in the design of the train. Sufficient luggage space for airport customers, a mix of standard and first class seating for commuters, and provision of Wi-Fi for both. We've chosen a train with an excellent track record with our sister company C2C, where their Electrostars currently have the best reliability record of any train in the UK network. We look forward to similarly impressive performance with our Class 379s. We remain one of the few rail transport groups to have signed a deal to meet the capacity targets, and the list, of imp um, the list of improvements is impressive. We completed a project to enlarge the car park at Audley End in February. We completed a multi-deck car park at Harlow Town in July. Next week, we will take delivery of a new train driving simulator from K&W to train our drivers on the new 379 traction. We have started work to build a new car park deck at Broxbourne Station Car Park, in November we will start work to extend this station car park and to electrify three sidings at Cambridge to stay with the additional trains at night. Specific to West Anglia, we are working with Network Rail to extend platforms at four stations and on the Cambridge line to accommodate 12 car trains, including building a new island platform at Cambridge to replace the original built in 1850 and shortly demolished thereafter in 1863 after the undergraduates complained about having to drag their trunks down and back up the steps to the underpass. In association with BAA and Network Rail, we are also extending one platform at Stansted Airport, and we plan to recast the West Anglia timetable in December 2011. We knew we had to address the shortcomings with some of our existing fleet, which were looking rather dated, and especially for the airport market, felt out of kilter with current standards and market expectations. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Colin, Francis and their team here at Litchurch Lane for the excellent progress that they have made so far and wish you every success in the coming months. Thank you all very much for joining us today to view our new trains and I do hope that you will take every opportunity to use them once they enter service. Thank you.